Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today we're taking a look at the Rocky Mount's guide rail on our 2019 Ford Ranger. Now the guide rail is going to be a platform style bike rack that holds the bike in these trays and by the tires. We've got two wheel hoops, one on either side, that's going to make for zero frame contact on the bike. That means it's good for carbon frame and alternative frame bikes. And with a 60 pound weight capacity per bike, it's going to be good for some e-bikes too, with that battery removed. Now this one has a pretty unique design in the sense that it's a very aggressive slope. So it's going to offset the bikes a little bit, give you really good ground clearance, and work really well with a wide variety of bikes. This means that there's less likelihood for conflicts between two bikes of very similar sizes too. Like many other platform style bike racks of this class though, we do have the ability to tilt it away with the bikes loaded. There's a blue handle underneath the rack that you can just pull and release. And then this does tilt down very far, giving us a lot of room between the bike rack and the Ranger. Now, while it isn't enough to fully open our tailgate, you can see here it will make contact with the bike and push it. We don't want that. It does give you a ton of room to step in between the, the Ranger and the bike rack. So if you need to get something out of the bed or step up into it, you totally can. You've got the room to do it. And you can do it without having to unload the bikes. Now lifting this back up into place, you should hear it click in place. It's a pretty soft click, but that'll let us know it's locked in and ready to drive. Now with this, we can get the bike unloaded. It's pretty straightforward. You've got these blue levers that you can flip up to release the ratcheting mechanism on the arms. And from there, just push them out of the way. I like this way of doing it because just releasing the ratcheting mechanism makes it really simple. I can push the arms open as wide as I need them to go. And then I can just lift the bike away without any obstructions like a center mass might have. I'll set this down. And then all you gotta do is just push the arms back in place and flip that lever to re-engage the ratcheting mechanism to make sure they don't pop up on their own. You can hear that ratcheting as I move the arm down now. And we can check out some of those measurements. Starting off with our ground clearance. Like I said, this is gonna be a pretty good ground clearance with 30 inches at the back end. Pretty much that's gonna probably be one of the best you can get in terms of other bike racks that we offer. I don't think you'll have any concerns with bottoming out. For our distance added to the back, it does sit pretty condensed already and only sticks out 27 and a half inches, which is pretty good. If you want to save some space though, you can use that same handle as before to fold the rack upright and against the vehicle. Now it's only going to stick out 11 inches whenever it's in the hitch. So if you want to leave it in there between rides and you don't have bikes loaded, this makes it a lot easier to maybe pull into a parking space. It's a lot less obtrusive that way. I will point out though that while it's folded, it completely blocks your backup camera right here. And it does pretty much completely block the license plates. Those are some things to be aware of. And it does come pretty close to the bumper. I'd say you've got an inch and a half of space at the closest point. I can measure that out. Yep, right at inch and a half. And this is a very solid rack though, so I'm not worried about any sort of vehicle contact, but that is something to be aware of if you don't want it to sit that close. Now down at the hitch, it's working with our two inch by two inch receiver tube and comes with a locking anti-rattle bolt. That lock is gonna be key to like to the lock up top that we can use to secure our chain lock. Now that chain lock isn't to be used while driving, but if you leave your bikes unattended, it's going to keep them very secure it's one of the strongest locks that comes with any bike rack that we offer, and it's gonna keep your bike safe. And overall, I really like the guide rail. It's a really easy to use rack. It's well built. It's got great ground clearance for the Ranger, and I think it fits on there really well. The one thing to be mindful of is just that license plate and the backup camera being blocked, and the fact that you don't have access to the tailgate fully. I'd maybe check out the Sarah Super Clamp HD that tends to give a lot better clearance with trucks, both in terms of the backup camera and the tailgate. So that might be something you wanna check out for the Ranger. But I think either way you go, it's gonna be a nice fit. Thanks for watching.